Hello everyone, it's Disarray here, and welcome back to more Masochisia. So I did check to see if I had gotten any more letters, and it doesn't look like I did, so we're just going to continue on with the story straight away. Um, we're supposed to be collecting three items, by the sounds of it, so that we can go to a place of purification. Um, I have no idea where these items are located. <laughs> So I'm just going to walk around aimlessly, I suppose. Maybe we'll go back home. Oh, I guess we could go to... Oh, I'm getting lost in the woods again. Uh, I, I guess we could try and go to um, the place of purification. And see what happens, but... I doubt that's what we're meant to do. And I don't want Michael to be all like, oh, You didn't do the thing that I asked you to do. You know how it is. Right, so... Let's go back to the shed. Maybe there's something in the shed. Let's look in the shed. Let's go in the shed, because why not? Is there anything in the attic that might be of use to me? Oh, in the attic? In the basement. That That's the one that goes down, guys. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering. Okay, so there's nothing in the shed. Maybe at the house. Maybe we can procure an item of need. We haven't been in the backyard for a while. I just feel like this episode is going to be aimless exploration because I'm not quite sure. Was this always here? Oh! Its broad and heavy blade relies on your arm's momentum to separate its target. I notice that we're getting a lot of weapons. <laughs> That that is a thing. I'm sure if I saw a hatchet somewhere else as well, so maybe we're supposed to be collecting those? I have not a clue. There's a mum in here. I want to go talk to mum. I like talking to mum, she's insane. Nope! She's disappeared. She doesn't want to talk to me anymore, guys. So I have, I do have the feeling that I'm supposed to go find hatchets, and um, there's maybe three of them because I've seen two, so that would be a good guess. Let's go in Father's room and see if there's anything we can pick up in here. Right, there's nothing. So someone moved his body, I'm glad to say. <laughs> maybe there's something in the attic. There's all these creepy little things hanging from the ceiling. I don't know why he needed a noose in the attic, but... You know, whatever. <laughs> whatever floats your boat, Dad. Right. There's nothing in here. I think I'm gonna cut ahead a little bit and see if I can't find any more of these hatchets because I'm pretty convinced that that's, those are the items that I'm meant to be procuring. So I will see you guys in a bit once I've found, I guess, two more. Ah, oh, here we go. It wasn't actually a cleaver, it was a butcher's knife. Um, the blade feels balanced in the hand, a practice thrust slices the air before you. So maybe that's all three of the items we need. We were given the bone saw by um, Albert. So I guess let's go and see if we can't give this a go. See if we can't go and um, get into this purification place. The Guardian prevents entry. Oh, hello. There you are, Mr. Bear. You have been tasked. You must bring me what is required of you. It is our fate. I think I have it. Then give them to me and proceed. Meat cleaver. Cleave not to your weakness, but cleave it away. Okay, the bone saw. Tell me, child, what good are bones before such instruments? And the butcher knife. Do you feel that, child? This is power. Power in the palm of your hand. Power over fear. Power over others. Okay, so I guess that was what he wanted. Now let's go into the warehouse. Which I believe... The, the grey man was talking about maybe killing someone here. Oh, hello. Oh, look, the bear's in here as well. Good to see you, bear. 
But let's go ahead and talk to this small child. Hamilton! It's me, Billy! Do you remember me? Um, yes, Billy, I remember you. What are you doing in this old warehouse? I just needed to walk to think. I know what you mean. I'm the same way. It's the best time to think, really. I apologise if this is too personal, but... Is everything okay? You don't look very good. Um... Things have been hard for me lately. I'm sorry, friend. We all feel down sometimes. I'm sure whatever it is, it's not your fault. I'm not a very good person. We don't have to talk about it. I can tell this is making you uncomfortable. But... If you ever need to talk about it, I will listen. We all need friends. You don't want to be my friends like literally half an hour ago. <laughs> I think we'll be good friends. I hope so. I've never had many friends. My mother said it's because no one understands me. Does your mother know you here? No, she has no idea that I'm out here. She always told me to stay away from this old warehouse. I usually do. I'll walk by the creek sometimes. Or hike through the woods. But I don't know. Tonight? I felt like I was supposed to be here. Like it was my destiny. Do you believe in fate? Uh, personally? I suppose I do. I knew you would. You feel it too, right? I was supposed to meet you tonight. I guess. We both need a friend. Billy, you need to know. I'm not feeling- you need to know that I'm not feeling too great right now. I'm very sick. Um, I was meant to meet you here. Uh, this is fate. Come, let us walk together. Yes, I'd like that. I don't know what's going to happen, guys, but I'm not feeling very good about it. <laughs> Either way. Okay, so we walked. And there is blood and weapons everywhere. That's pretty fantastic. Woo! What a lovely area to walk to. It's a bit cold in here, isn't it? It just smells, it smells funny too. What is all this? This place, it gives me the willies. Um, I don't think I can do this. Do what? Hamilton, are you okay? Please, those tools, these markings. I don't like this, Hamilton. This isn't my idea, Billy. What's not your idea? I'm so confused, please, please. I don't like this anymore. I don't want to kill Billy. He hasn't done anything to me. It's not like Dad. My mother. My mother needs me. Do I not get a choice? I'll make it quick. Please. Please, please let me go. I won't tell anyone. I won't. I promise. I promise. I can't do this. <laughs> Why is the game making me? I don't have a choice. No, Hamilton, no! Mother! Mother, help me! Mummy! Well, that's not fair, game. That's not fair. I didn't want to do this. And I don't appreciate all of these gurgling and stabbing noises. It's very graphic. This is not cool, guys. I didn't want that to happen. And now the game is probably going to be like, oh, so you killed that boy, huh? You must be sick. And it wasn't my fault. <laughs> you hesitate. We can feel it. There is no need to flinch. For it is all just a game. Just a game. I don't want to kill you, Billy. God damn it. Right, well. What do we do now? Oh. Okay, I was supposed to click on him. I guess. I don't want to... I don't want to do that. Oh, I cut his arm off? This isn't cool, guys. <laughs> I'm really disturbed by all of this. I, w I just want to go away. I don't want to cut him up. I guess I have no choice because it won't let me click on anything else. 
I guess we're using the items that the items of purification that we brought because I could hear that bone saw. Oh dear. This game is making me feel like a bad person when I really just wanted to not do that. Can we hurry this up please? I'm spending way too much time hacking this poor boy's buddy up. Jeebus. <laughs> Why does it have to make such a big deal about this? Come on, I didn't even do anything that time. Oh, these noises are gross. Is that it? Are we done? Can I leave now? <laughs> Please. Please let me leave. It won't let me click on anything. It's forcing me to just sit here and stare at this dead body. There, there. Was that so hard? You did just fine. You obeyed. You did what was required of you. Nobody said anything about going to kill a, a, a small child. <laughs> Michael did not say anything about that. And now, we need you to dispose of the evidence. Can you do that for us? This is wrong. We are glad to hear this. If you were not conflicted over your fate, then what kind of moral compass would you have? You're a good person. Remember that. But unfortunately, you must continue. Oh dear. <laughs> Bloodied clothes are collected into a damp heap. The drying blood stains your fingers. Fan- Fantastic game. Way to make me feel truly uncomfortable. We must finish what we begin. Okay, how do I do that? How do I finish? Oh, I have to burn it. Okay. Is that it? Okay, there we go. The evidence is gone, I guess. What's all this then? Um, are we inside a clock? Oh, this is quite unusual. What, do you feel that? Nothing. Do you hear that? Nothing. Our heart does not race. Don't you see? We are calm. We are sane. Are we yet clean? Will this shedding of blood be the remission of our sins? Well, that just means that we're killing people to make ourselves feel better. What is this? I feel like this game is tormenting me. Here you go, this is what you did. Oh, hello. I can still hear the cogs. Go away. I guess let's talk to this guy. Albert, I'm not your lawyer. I'm not your priest. These things you speak of. These are dark things. Um, I don't... Oh, I don't know how to stop. Admitting that you're no longer in control. This is the first step. And the first step is always the hardest. Perhaps you have more feelings than you let on. Uh, sometimes I remember I'm human. You are human. Always have been. You're made of the same flesh and blood as I. And these glimpses of humanity make these next questions so challenging. You've done very terrible things. Young Billy, he suffered greatly. But why? What possible pleasure was there to gain in his agony? Why did you make him suffer so greatly? It was the only way I could be saved. The commandments of God. The voice of an angel. The screeching voices in your head. The, vis the vicious monsters in your heart. These are not your salvation. They are simply the justification. Your justification. They command you simply obey. An innocent puppet. Moving as they tug your strings. 
For one who craves control, you seem to have so very little of it. Oh, Albert's here. Hey, Albert. Thank you for making me do all this stuff that I don't want to do. How does it feel? The weight is lifted from your shoulders. Your true self can emerge from its shell. This feels wrong. Yes, brother, as it should. What kind of person would you be if this did bother you? But you're bigger than that. You've placed what was required of you above your feelings. You've done as you were told. You've done as you were meant to do. Is this the end? The end? Oh no, brother. You have truly only just begun. Let us return to the messenger. The sacrament was prepared. The blood has been spilled. Fantastic. This game is really like effing me up. Like I just I just can't deal with the things it's making me do. Because it's then trying to make me feel like a bad person, and I, I literally had no control over that. It took away my choice. Hamilton, why? Oh, this voice in our heads. He doesn't sound like Albert. Why do you think we are this way? We did not ask for this calling. Yet, we are. I hope Grace is here because I could really do with like some kind of quick travel. I don't feel like walking all the way back. Yo, Grace, help a brother out. Nope, guess not. Guess we're huffing it. We're killers, aren't we? There is no we. Then why do you keep talking to us? Can we not have a moment's peace? I just want to go back. Did you know? The pills don't really change us. They don't really hide us. I had noticed that. Considering we've got these pills, they don't actually get rid of them. Jesus! <laughs> don't do that game. It's not cool. Alright, I forgot what I was even talking about. I guess just head back to the woods. Okay, oh, the pills are a crutch. They were never anything more. You said I needed them, and we did, for a time. They helped us cope, helped us rationalize. But I guess they've not been quite so effective in recent times. I mean, what's the use of the pills if we're still hearing these voices in our head? Go away! <laughs> I'm not cool with this. Okay, let's... Just want to get to the shrine. And then there was the magic needles. You remember them. Are you saying they had no purpose? Nay, they had a purpose. They existed for our pleasure. We use them because we want them. I don't know who could possibly want to shove needles into their palm. It looks pretty gross and painful. Hamilton, never forget. The prescription on our pills is not the essence of who we are. We are who we are. Right. To the shrine, then. Oh! Oh. You've definitely changed a sizable amount. You didn't look much like this before. <laughs> Did you change your suit? Is that what's, is that what's different? Okay, well... Oh. Nope, don't like that. Okay, well, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. And in the next one, we'll go ahead and talk to this pleasant character. If you've enjoyed the video, then don't forget to leave a like. And if you have any suggestions for games you would like to see me play in the future, then go ahead and leave a comment below. And until next time, guys, goodbye.